secondary stream. Follow our Twitter. You guys will be notified where you can see that secondary stream as is. Of course, joining me is the, the handsome gentleman that you just saw earlier is Pluto. And of course, we have Ben versus Myron. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I haven't been to a tournament this big in years. Well, and, yeah, it's, it's uh, There's already upsets. I'm so happy. Uh, yeah, Ben, uh, <laughs> ben versus Myron. What is it, Zelda versus Zelda, Olimar? Zelda, Zelda versus Olimar, one of Vegas' oh finest God. Zeldas, one of the world's most finest Zeldas. And of course, Ben has a lot to come out here and take against Myron. Myron had a lot of SoCal players to play against. And now he's up against Vegas' finest as well. Yeah, Myron getting the SoCal gauntlet. I am trying to think of the way this matchup goes, and I assume that <laughs> Zelda just wants to use her reflector a lot on as many things as she possibly can and keep her distance a little bit, set up the knight, the knight will kill Olimar pretty early. So. <laughs> As the story goes, and, and, but it's like what you said, right? You do want to use that Nehru's love because you are able to get the Pikmin away from you. Yeah. You don't want to occur that damage over time. And the more you keep Myron out of your face, the better things will go for you in the long run. Yeah. Especially with the way that Ven plays, he is very much a setup master. Myron, of course, one of the best Olimars to do it. And uh, one of the sickest raps ever entered into the, the <laughs> summit competition. Oh my god, I can't believe that was real. But uh, unfortunately, having to fight his way to first place here at MSM if he wants a chance at the summit spot. Ben just trying to knock him into losers for now. Make it a little harder, and that forward air is going to be the start. Yeah, that was good, too. It's a small little lead-in with the empty help of Myra. will strike back, catching yeah. up that jump up on the ledge. That's the thing about Zelda, too. When she's at disadvantage towards the sides of the stage, she has only one committable option. It's usually either her up B or a jump, so Myra yeah. understands that. That was a really great dash attack by Ben to start that stock off. Um, Notice that Myron threw his short op out and just immediately threw all three Pikmin. There was nothing really for uh, Myron left to defend himself with, and so mm. the dash attack was a really, just like really quick option. Reacted to the fact that there were no Pikmin, so that's going to be something that Myron's going to have to watch out for. He should always be keeping at least one Pikmin with him, uh, exactly. or else Ben looks like he's uh, pretty familiar in the matchup and knows when he can strike. All right, Ben, I like that. Saves that jump to get out of the ledge uh, immediately, trying to come back yeah. towards center stage. There is knight, so Myron has to worry about how that knight will swing the sword on the yeah. stage. Oh Great my god. Great to up there, too. God. Definitely reading how Myron was going to try to land. Zelda hits like a shotgun in this game. She man. does. She, she does. Really she, has no, does. she has no business doing this, but yeah. she does. Well, I mean, she's got some business. Okay. <laughs> maybe she's overdue. You know? Maybe, you know what? You could be right. Oh my god. All, All those right. years getting stolen by Ganon, man. You got to oh. fight back. What a if, yeah, that was amazing. He just waited out the whistle. Knew Myron was probably going to use the whistle to try to uh, get through the explosion. And uh, just played the rock, paper, scissors game, waited out a little bit, and is able to take the second stock. And now, oh, if Ben oh. can uh, come back to the stage, you know, get a little bit of stage control, he's in a really good spot. Oh, Never mind. That's the thing, too, for Myron to understand how that recovery works. Most teleports in this game, they yeah. don't auto-step the ledge. So your opponent will be vulnerable for that time. I right, yeah. go for Myron to go for that down throw forward. I'm oh, sorry, forward air. Ooh, and the reason why is that Myron wants to continuously keep Ben from the stage to have any chance of setting up Knight. Myron really trying to, uh, or struggling to find a way to uh, to punish the reflector on Zelda so far. All right, Ben here at 105. I like that. He keeps jumping away from the ledge to avoid being set up in that situation. I want to see if Myron will be able to catch up to that. That's a lot. That's a pretty good jump that Ben is saving. That forward air is a nice start for Ben. Had the stage control. They're both kind of just fighting for center right now. I feel like if Myron is able to hold this center down, he's going to be able to take this uh, first game relatively easily. Ben is going to have to fight his way back in now. That's good, too. He used Knight to actually push up a little bit towards yeah. center stage, clear the path a little bit. I like using the Knight in the very corner and then uh, wave landing onto the platform just to mm -hmm. basically inch yourself closer to center stage. Not quite take it yet, but you know, you're know you working your way exactly. there. Exactly. The slow and steady pace yeah. right there. And then also accounting for the Pikmin, too, as well. So that's good on Ben's part here. And staying at the platform Ooh. to avoid as much as the ground game that Myron is throwing out here. Saving that yeah. jump back to the... I like that. Ben doesn't see the space is clear. Take your time. Yeah, you, have, you have the tools to do so. You don't have to commit just yet. Ben is very content on this platform. He has gone here pretty much every <laughs> opportunity he's gotten, and now it will finally be the death of him. Myron mm -hmm. seals it with the up air for game one. Uh, Myron pretty much telling him, man, if you really love that platform so much, marry it, and you can marry the Blast Zone, too. Close game one, though. Um, I feel like there was one moment where Ven was on that platform, and he dash attacked, and he meant to walk off forward air. That, that's and what if, I, yeah. if he hit the walk off forward air, that could have been a really nice way to turn that game one around. But just unfortunately, he kind of got stuck in his movement up there a little bit. In in Ultimate, I've always felt specifically just in this game, the platforms are more sticky. Yeah, I, I agree. The platform movement isn't as good as it used to be. 
So definitely a lot of players happen to have those mistakes compared to Smash 4, Brawl, and previous games. So we'll come into the next game here. Uh, ben, down 1-0 against Myron. Please know these are best of threes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I believe, one of the biggest contributing factors to upsets happening at this tournament is that everything is best of three until around top five-ish, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll be usually within the top eight realms. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I mean, these players from out of state who aren't familiar with all our wacky characters uh, <laughs> have only three games to adjust at most. Yeah, and Light, unfortunately, was going to be the yeah, one. Yeah, Light falling to Bowser Jr., you know, that's... Uh, a small contribution to that is is most likely this matchup and experience. And like that. So far, oh. though, Myron making quick work of Vin's first stock on the second game. Uh, kind of figured out the way that Vin was keeping him off of him for the first game, and he has been all in so far. Hasn't been able to uh, to keep Myron out at all, and now Zelda's in a really bad spot. You're you're one stock down. You're forced to approach with a character that is really slow, has very slow ground and movement, and kind of relies on your opponent overextending a little bit or not yeah. understanding some properties of the way your moves work. So yeah, then this is going to be a very hard fought battle for uh, for the rest of this game too. Yeah. Oh yeah, my dash attack will not be that good on the shield, yeah. but Myron knows what to do from there. It's tough for Ben too, because like, like you said, you're on the approaching side, so having to set things up against a character and a player that has a better frame data but understanding as well against you, it's rough, but Ben finally gets a little bit of the stage here. Hopefully there's going to be that. There's the grab, yeah. and that's good because that's forcing Myron to pick an option. Exactly. Can't really afford to take a lot of damage, though. Uh, you know, obviously, Olimar has insane kill power, uh, depending on the pick that he's throwing at you. That's a really nice knife. And, uh, yeah, I'll still a whole stock down, but, you know, inching closer. Good dash back from Ben. Wants to push back for center stage control here. Here's the grab. A small combo here. That's oh. a forward and great one. Sweet spot there, but Myron has the yellow pick. I think that's the scariest part, too, is the, the closer each Myron gets to a pick that he favors, yeah. the more difficult it slowly becomes for Ben, and then he has to play much more safer than, than anticipated that he wants to. Myron has completely switched it up, too. As soon as he started getting punished on this stock, he just walked away and started chucking Pikmin. Yeah. He's like, all right, defense mode, you figured out a couple things. I need to back up for a second, just rack up a little bit of damage, play and this safe. Like, this is Myron game too. It usually it's just the stage that would be good for Ben. Yeah. But it's coming out good for Myron because it's the stock disadvantage that Ben now has. Oh, there oh. it is again. Twice in a row, he's going to get caught with that up smash after the dash attack with on the shield. And, and that's uh, so good for Myron because that up smash out of shield is a great.